11 about five hours ago, family and friends gathered in Northwest DC to celebrate the life of Jasmine Jefferson. Medics found her in the Roosevelt pool in Petworth back in November. Sadly, she died two days before Christmas. Our Leslie Moreno was at that emotional vigil this evening where her parents are demanding answers. Jasmine's family spoke tonight during the vigil. They're saying her death was negligence and this could have been prevented. The family of 21 year old Jasmine Jefferson is asking the mayor and DC officials for answers after Jasmine fell into the Roosevelt pool in Petworth while she was working as a lifeguard on November 29th. Family says Jasmine went into cardiac arrest and fell into the water. Her father says one of the other lifeguards that was there at the time was on front desk duty and another one was fixing the pool pump. Family says Jasmine spent three weeks in the intensive care unit at Howard University Hospital before she passed away on December 23rd, just two days before Christmas. Tonight, family says DC Parks and Recreation failed Jasmine. The family says someone should have been there when Jasmine fell into the water. Because it is unimaginable to me that my daughter is not with us. Because she should be. And she could be. Had someone been paying attention and they were doing the duty of lifeguarding, which is what they were hired to do. They were not hired to be janitors. They were not hired to be technicians to work with a problematic pump. They were not hired to be customer service representatives. They were hired to guard lives. The Department of Parks and Recreation failed my daughter. They failed you as well because they failed to keep their own employees safe, which means swim at your own risk. DC Parks and Recreation did release a statement following the incident, which reads in part, quote, there were no patrons at the facility and Roosevelt was fully staffed during the time of this incident. Roosevelt operates with a minimum of three pool operators to maintain pool chemistry and rescue duties. The family says they've been in contact with several agencies in DC. They still have many unanswered questions and they're hoping they can prevent this from happening to another family. In Northwest DC, Leslie Moreno, WUSA 9.